Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back. Let's play Marvel Spider-Man on the Sony PlayStation 4. Last time, we spent way too long in Dr. Octavius' office, uh, just looking around and finding stuff and doing some experiments. And even with all that, we are very close to a level, but whatever. Anyways, uh, we also got introduced to J. Jonah Jameson, who I don't know if he has a... No, I guess he doesn't, I guess he doesn't have like a little... Uh, blog here yet oh well at some point we'll, we'll look through all those but not at the moment uh and yeah j jones jameson likes to pop up with his with his uh little blogs and as you can as you heard from his little his little thing that he did his not publisher but whoever the guy in the radio was he was not terribly enthused about the, the, the whole J. Jonah thing, because every time J. Jonah was like, hey, do this, do that, you, you can just hear the guy just trying his best not to... <sighs> so, Also, if you want to re-listen to those, I think you can. Uh, let's see, where are they? I, I don't know if it's unlocked yet, but um, at some point you can... Oh, yeah, uh, on the map here, press square for your social feed, and... Yeah, you get like little Twitter uh, Twitter style stuff here if you want. Um, hmm. I thought there was a way to. I'm pretty sure there's a way to re-listen to this stuff, but I'm not sure where. No Daily Bugle. There might not be a way, or or it might not be a way till later. I thought there was a way to re-listen re to that stuff, but uh, I guess not. Okay, either way, let's go ahead and head over to Captain Watanabe because we've kept her waiting long enough. And yeah, let's just get ready to go. Why not? Try to keep up our uh, point launches here. Yeah, it's so nice. You, you can go a pretty fair distance across the city without actually, without actually having to web swing if you don't feel like it for some reason. And I missed my point launch. Oh well. Yeah, we make our way across the city rather quickly, even without the swinging type stuff here. And I am okay with that. It, the game does occasionally have the problem of saying, hey, let's go ahead and stick them across the entire map for the next mission objective as a way of padding out game time, but for the most part, it's not too bad. So especially since you can get across the map uh, pretty fast once you get the most uh, movement upgrade type dealios. And also, they do have fast travel, so that's nice. I'm trying to remember if uh, Miles Morales uh, is on the the PS4 or just the PS5. Because there is a... I don't know if it's like a sequel or just like a... I, I think it's like more like a mini-sequel than anything. But there's a game with uh, another character in it. Um... On the PS5, at least. I'm not sure if it's over here on the PS4. I haven't played that one yet. Actually, I haven't seen anything about that. Or oh, I've like seen bits of dialogue about it, but I've never, I haven't watched any gameplay about it or anything like that. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Till an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. I'll figure it out later. Right now, we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Oh, Yuri Watanabe, my favorite. Let's take a look at this tower. She's definitely one of the uh, cooler characters in the game, that's for sure. And I like how she asked about the uh, black and white suit. Uh, the first time I played through the game, uh, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, oh, Tux, uh, Peter's 
Peter is what the kids might refer to as a broke bitch. So he just probably does not have a uh, tux. But then I was watching somebody else play through the game, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's referencing the uh, the, the Venom suit. And I'm like, Boy, I'm an idiot. So, oh, well. Anyways, uh, these little towers right here are nice. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. We descramble them with the left and right analog sticks, and frankly, they're pretty easy. You just have to line them up. Just fiddle with the sticks and you'll get it eventually. And these... We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. I'm on it. Oh, yeah, so uh, with these right here, what they'll do is they'll fill in portions of the map. Uh, I think each individual little sector has three of them. I think one of the smaller sections might have two, but I'm, I think I think this one might have like one or two instead of all three. Uh, but as you collect them, they make the uh, they make the map show up, and you'll see the uh, you, you'll see stuff on there like the the crimes and landmarks and other stuff. So it's a nice little way of doing things. You have to unlock it. Uh, and sadly, just swinging through the area doesn't do it, but I think I'll survive. Anyways, and yeah, uh, press R3 to locate uh, crimes and other stuff. And this will let us see what we need here. Do it! Watch my back. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. All right, so we can web strike uh, real fast. Though before I forget, um, actually we can't do it yet. Never mind. Okay, let's uh, web strike and take down these bozos. Enemies with melee weapons block most attacks, but are vulnerable to air launch attacks, webs, and throwables. Okay, so I think with these guys, we can do other stuff like the uh, the dodge under, and that works out pretty good for us too. But I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. I'm trying to. Yeah, I don't because I don't have the upgrade for the perfect dodge. I'm actually not getting as much of the um, the web shots to the face as I would like here. Oh well. There we go. I guess the dodge under does kind of help a little bit, but at the same time, it doesn't do quite enough to make it so that they're going to. be unblockable there. There we go. Now we get a little bit of experience for the fight there. Nice. Okay, wrapped up. Uh, stop crimes, earn crime tokens, which now you can I'm spend to craft better gear. You. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any spider cop. No. Spider cop, spider cop, gets on your nerves because that's what he does. He's a spider cop. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off. Leave me alone. Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me. All right, Help! let's get ready. Help! Get away from her. Brutes will block your melee attacks, use webs and throwables to make them vulnerable. Yeah, see that big fat guy? Uh, those guys are basically mini Wilson Fisks in the fact that you have to either web them up or attack them with, you know, stuff to uh, throw at them in order to actually be able to damage them. It's just how things go, sadly. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to take out the little dudes. Oh, apparently that guy was just alive enough to uh, not work here. Um, yeah, let's throw something at you and go from there. Yeah, uh, the Brutes, despite the fact they're massively overweight and muscle, uh, they are a pain in the ass. Luckily, they can still end up webbed to uh, cars, so that's nice. And you cannot take them down with one finishing bar. You have to... Well... Not use finishers on it for the moment. Is anybody still alive? Oh, yeah, apparently that guy's still alive. Way the heck over there. 
Or maybe not. Somebody's alive. Oh, it's not you. Somebody's alive. Oh, where the fuck were you hiding, my dude? I want to see if I can't get the perfect dodge real fast. Let's see here. No. Fast. You know what? Screw it. We'll worry about it later. Walk away now, or she's dead. Let me go. Save the hostage before time runs out. Use the left analog stick to aim at the target and then press R1 to disarm them. This will also come up a few times throughout the uh, throughout the game. Uh, sometimes the uh, little reticule will fight you a little bit, but for the most part, not too bad. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's spider man. Oh well. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. Don't feel bad, spider bro. These things happen. Hold L towards the wall, R2 to wall run. Okay, we've already done that before, but you know, might as well just get the prompt out of the way. And while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and just going to buy the better uh, dodge window here, because that will make my perfect counters, or perfect dodges, much easier to pull off, as we'll see the next time we get in a fight. Because that was not activating, like, at all. By the way, when you're running up the... Spider cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. The chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. <laughs> uh, they have such a great relationship. Um, with the running up the walls, if you, you'll occasionally see the button prompt of X uh, as you get towards the top of the wall, and that'll enable you to like kind of leap off the wall and get uh, good speed and altitude and whatnot. Alright, uh, is it you that I need? Or is it this thing right here? Oh, no, where is it? Oh, it's further along. I was like, I thought you were working, but I guess not. Um, the game kind of has a day-night cycle, by the way, uh, in the fact that it's usually going to be daytime, but certain missions, uh, side missions included, will progress the game to nighttime for that, for that particular mission. Let me see if I can't uh, do the little thing right here that I was talking about a minute ago. Uh, so when I get to the top, it'll say press X. Yeah. And yeah, you do that little extra dodge to get over the wall. Compared to if you don't, it's a bit more awkward, I think. Let's see here. And yeah, don't worry about fall damage because it basically doesn't exist in the game as far as I'm aware. Yeah, so if you don't do the uh, the X thing, then you just kind of vault it. But if you do do the X thing, you get a little extra, a little extra boost, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and descramble. Modify these towers to track more than just crimes. There we go. Score. Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? All right, so click R3, and you'll get little beacons every once in a while, and usually they're going to be collectibles or something like that. Let's see, where is it at? So in this case, it should be... Ah, here we go. Oh, wow. One of my old backpacks from high school. I forgot I attached tracking dots to these. wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. Find backpacks or earn backpack tokens, which you can spend to craft better gear. They said the same thing about crime tokens, but we haven't seen that yet. And yeah, uh, now that we've got more of the towers unlocked, 
and have it progress slightly more through the story, it shows us on the minimap where you can find the backpack tokens, and then as they unlock, other stuff like uh, other collectibles that the game has. And as you can see, just this one little area alone has a whole bunch of stuff to collect. Uh, let's see, some of the other areas are significantly uh, scrawnier on collectibles, but surprise, yeah, like this one's like real minimal. But for the most part, each one has a fair chunk of stuff to do. Let's see. Uh, like just in this one right here, Upper East Side, you got three backpacks, one locked, three below that, one other one below that, another one below that, another one below that, another one, another one, another five, another five, another five, and another five. Uh, with the uh, the five ones, those are combat type stuff for the most part, I think, like uh, random crimes like the, like the guys that we just beat up a minute ago. And yeah, I like these little backpacks because they have little... My first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier, but she didn't seem to mind. Yeah, they have little uh, they have little tidbits about uh, you know Peter's life or enemies that he's fought or stuff like that. So I, I guess this was like a first date with MJ or something like that, which is pretty cool. And I think now, yeah, here you can listen to the the um, the J Jonah stuff. Oh, and you can also listen to the stuff from the lab and stuff like that. Neat. And eventually this will show all the backpacks you get, this will show the tokens you collect, and eventually you'll be able to use there? those tokens. Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider, all cop. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> that poor woman. Uh, she has to do a spider idiot. Luckily, she trusts him pretty much completely, so... He's fine. Open the safe! Hey, fellas. Ah! Spider-Man! Shoot him! How you guys doing? Do I have anything to throw at you idiots? No, I, st I still didn't actually get the uh, perfect dodge there, huh? I think my timing might just be off. For there you go. There's the perfect dodge. He has that little bit of web stuck to his face now. And now he's a little out of commission until later, but for now, he's still doing pretty good. Okay, uh, I don't want you to, like... There you go. I don't want you to take me out of the mission, dude. More of them? Guys, if you worked this hard at a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminal. There you go. Take it like a champ, my dude. Take it like a champ. Oh, you guys died pretty fast. Huh? There we go. We got ourselves another uh, crime token and more right, experience. Yuri. Nice. I'm gonna repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean Spider Cop's gonna repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. Policing's a young man's game. Spider Cop? Well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today. Spider Cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider Cop's tireless... Yuri? Yuri, you there? Uh, guess the emotion of the moment overwhelmed her. Yeah, let's go with that, Peter. Let's go with, uh, you know, she's just overcome with uh, joy, and she just has to be quiet about it. Or grief, or one of the two. All right, here is our final little tower right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else. Well, I guess we have more backpacks to find. We can do those if we wanted to, but... There we go. Towers are real collectibles, challenges, and side missions on the map. Yes, they do. Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. I wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. Alright, well, I think we got enough for... Yeah, we got a level there. Let's go ahead and do some... Skill type stuff here. Uh, I think I'm good with that. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, we got a point. Next up is... Decent, but not what I need. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and start getting the Web Slinger stuff because the extra zip dodge will be real nice. Yeah, there we go. And then... Uh, with the uh, little comment he made there, my three chest tears, somebody actually... Somebody actually... Um, zoomed in completely on the dude uh, in a... In a, in a specific situation later and I think they actually saw that he had a grand total of three chest tears there see I don't know if it's actually gonna show up right here yeah we'll see it later I guess doctor how did it go with the committee I'm so sorry I screwed things up not at all Peter they're just nervous in the face of imminent triumph they'll calm down they always do should I head back to the lab for cleanup no no I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow we'll resume tomorrow Short break, then back to creating the future. Wish I could bottle and sell that man's optimism. Sounds like he's left the lab for the day. Good time to work on my suit in private. We could, or we could grab this backpack real fast, because why not? Plushy! Spider plushy! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Them's the brakes, Spider-Man. Them's the brakes. Right, uh, let's see. I think we have... Yeah, we have a couple more. And if you don't feel like uh, using the, the ping thing to get it, you can also just go ahead and just put markers on the map like this, which I kind of prefer. Uh, you know, we might as well just grab this stuff real fast because it's here and... We might get, like, the thug crimes and stuff. So I think we might try to get uh, the thug crimes and the rest of the backpacks if we can here. I don't know if the thug crimes will all show up. Uh, with the thug crimes and other related crimes that will show up, uh, it's basically... Uh, you see how there are, uh, on the side right there, with the red triangle near the bottom, it says uh, thug crimes, 0 out of 5. Basically, there will be, like, as you swing around, there will be five instances of random... Uh, acts of violence with people or criminals you have to deal with and every time you do it you'll get one of the thug crimes done and after that uh most of after that most of the enemies will not be hanging around the area for some reason or another so it kind of limits your experience after a while but at the same time there's more than enough experience in the game to uh get everything you need so don't worry about that too much let's see there we go Oh, look at that. That's a cute picture. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Hey, I, I'll be honest. That's a better drawing than I could do. I have no artistic talent, like, at all. So I'm okay with that. All right, and then we got, yeah, these ones down here. So let's go for those. We don't have access to one of the other things that I want to do, but eh, we'll get it eventually, I think. Yeah, so it's nice to just be able to... Oh, here we go. Reports of a break -in. Reports are coming from the lower east side. Over. I think it might be on the rooftop here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so notice on the bonus objectives, it says stuff like attack three enemies from behind, or... Um, web enemies to the wall, those are stuff that might get you more bonus uh, experience or more crime tokens uh, with the finishing of the fight. Oh, come here. I need to talk to this guy right here because he's... Uh... No, is that... that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. There you go. Okay, one of you, one of you got to the the wall. Now we just need to do the other. There we. Yeah, it didn't work. So you're all going to jail. Yeah, we didn't get either of them. as good at breaking out as you were at breaking in. Sometimes, sometimes the bonus uh, stuff is kind of a pain, uh, but don't worry. There's there's multiple opportunities to earn the uh, tokens, and for the most part, uh, once you get a certain amount in a particular area. 
or it might just be for a particular type of crime. Uh, they don't offer them as much, or they offer the same ones, and you can't re get them. So you might miss that on them. You might miss out on a couple at the start, but eventually you'll get them all, and you'll have enough crime tokens to. Uh, fuck off, burps. Uh, you'll have enough to unlock what you need to unlock. So, but for now, we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we failed that particular one. Yeah, sometimes they do give you uh, crappy objectives to deal with, but oh well, you do what you do. Let's see, where is? It's around here somewhere. Are you up there? Why are you? Why are the? Why the heck are you up there, my dude? Deep End VIP Harry's nightclub. VIP card for the oh. nightclub. Harry always tried to include me. Using this card to Deep End entitles you to some great benefits. Please check our online website for the latest benefits. Please enjoy your time with us at Deep End. Yeah, this is definitely something Harry would have instead of a uh, instead of uh, Peter because well, Peter's broke. Ooh, there is a uh, crime right there. Let's go grab that real fast. Hopefully it doesn't disappear by the time we get there. But sometimes that has been known to happen. If it's far enough away, you might not make it in time. But I think we should be good. Alright, where are you guys at? You guys are... Still over there. Okay, cool. Sometimes it'll tell you what the, uh... No, I guess not. Okay, sometimes it tells you what the stuff is, but not this time. So this time we need to web stuff at enemy, and we need to web them to the wall. Easy enough. So there's... that right there. And then let's go for... There you go. One of you is done. Let's go ahead and heal up real fast. I don't think the perfect dodge works against uh, enemies on the uh, uh, enemies with guns. Sadly, oh fucking a dude. Yeah, the combat can be a bit irritating at times, but yeah, you learn to deal with it at some point. There you go. Got all three of them. There's that web uh, kick in action that I don't use very often because I forget about it half the time. Special kind of crazy to rob a storefront in the city Spider-Man protects. There we go. We got extra crime tokens. I said just the one, we got three. I thought we also got more experience, but I guess not. Alright, anyways, uh, we got two more backpacks. And we might get the rest of the uh, crime stuff, but we'll see. For, uh, for the crime stuff, a lot of times what will happen is you'll see like the little red icon pop up on the edge of your map. Or you'll hear the, the radio uh, pinging. Uh, with R3, we'll also have a chance to show it up if something is happening. Every once in a while, though, it'll be kind of a bastard, and it'll say, hey, there's a crime, and it'll turn out to be in another district, and you'll think you'll have it, especially the ones, like, right on the edge of the uh, districts. My injured shoulder eventually healed. The bill took a lot longer to pay. Let's see. Let's see. Acro... Acromyoclavicular joint injury, $2,400. Uh, contract adjustment, minus $10. Pay or ADG, I'm not sure, minus $100. So, poor little dude owed $2,368.29. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> and you can also see his address there in case you're curious. Uh, 410 Chelsea Street. There you go. Neato. Cool. Your uh, okay. I'm looking at the bottom right here. So this is great. Your account is now seriously past due. Please remit payment immediately to avoid further collection activity. If you have questions regarding the above charges, please call the billing psych office. Thank you for your prompt response. I like how it says it is like now seriously past due. It's like, come on, dude, just please, please pay. Yeah, it's pretty great. I like it. Alright, uh, so, oh, there's a crime. What's up, my dudes? Someone's getting robbed. Combo of ten or more, and also air launch on three enemies. Okay, cool. Don't forget, if you get hit, then your... Combo goes away. There's our... There's our air launch. There's the air launch again. 
Yeah, see, we got hit, and our combo went away. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Nice, easy objectives. Every stupid mugger cool. thinks he's the next Wilson Fisk. Well, you got we more crime jokers here. So... All right, and then we got uh, yeah, we need we need two more thug crimes and one, yeah, one more backpack. So let's go head to the backpack. We probably won't end up getting to the next mission in this particular episode, uh, but well, eventually we'll get to it. I'm trying to decide if we should just do uh, like an episode or two of just like exploring, getting all the towers and doing all the uh, crimes and stuff that we can do, or if try to do them as we get to that particular area as the story takes us over there. But a lot of times the story will take us through stuff like here, oh there's a crime right there, here it'll take us, um, depending on where we go, we could go through a little bit of this to get back to the office, or we could just go straight through this district to get over there and ignore this until later. So I'm not really sure, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, crime, where is it at? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's up here. I think, I think it might be on the rooftop. Oh, there it is. Attack three enemies from behind, which is kind of an irritating one to do, but whatever. Actually, actually, no, that's not easy. To, that's not irritating to do. There you go. Just dodge. Just do the dodge and then the uh, attack and dodge, and that'll get that'll get you behind. There we go. There we go. Okay, so you guys are all done there. Now we just need to web you assholes to the wall. Which can be a bit of a pain sometimes, especially when there's a lot of enemies here, and as you can see, they occasionally do plenty of damage. Yeah, there's, uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if this is the best mission to knock enemies to the wall, but whatever. Okay, yep. Water them to the wall at least. Uh, I think that counted as... Okay, so two of them are done. We just need to get one more up there. But the problem is our uh, webbing is less than fully charged moment. Okay, cool. We got them all. Nice. Cool. Well, the, uh, the perfect dodge did work on that. I'll take it. And I'm not going to bother with the... The finisher because I want to use the focus, focus for healing. Nice. If you're not good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B and E. Got more crime tokens, which we still can't use yet, but whatever. Uh, anyways, the backpack should be the last one that we're going for. Make a custom waypoint, and then we have one more. Yeah, one more thug crime. But as you can see, they pop up pretty frequently. And then after that, there there will be. I don't think there will be any until more types of crimes pop up uh which for some of this stuff is actually a little later in the game uh oh, i'm going to the wrong waypoint i was going towards octavius there i mean don't get me wrong you'll have plenty of enemies to fight in the in the uh missions and whatnot Ooh. There we go. Let's do this one. But there, there will be less of like these random missions around. There we go. Even the wrong way. These chase missions can be a bit pain in the ass to grab the tokens for because you, you can't take any damage, which I already did. And also you have to do a QTE towards the end. So with these, you dodge to the side of the where the enemy comes out and then you attack. And that will, that will finish them off in one hit roll right there. There we go. And then now, get ready for either holding your button or pressing it, as the case may be. And there we go. Cool. And I... Yeah, see, we took damage when we were uh, chasing it, so that already counted towards messing it up right there. Oh, well. But on the plus side, we've got plenty of collectibles at the moment. Let's see, we got 15 crime tokens, and we barely even started, so nice. Uh, let's see, so that's all the crimes there. We need to get our backpack, and then we should be done here. Me too. But yeah, those car ones, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass to get that, um, to get the no damage taken, because it counts if you take it, take damage when you are 
following them, or if you take damage when you're on top of the car, getting them out of the car, or occasionally the mission also ends up having them get out of the car or having backup to attack you, and if they if they hit you during that little fight, that will also count towards the taking damage. So, yeah, good luck getting your no damage taken on those particular combat missions. I mean, you can do it, it's just not the easiest. Alright, so we should have our backpack around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Failed prototype. Tried mixing up a prototype web fluid at Oscorp while Harry had his internship there. Didn't work. That place has always been bad luck for me. Flagelliform silk. I'm not sure if that's actually useful or anything, but, well, there it is. Cool. Alright, so we managed to get the towers back up online for Chinatown, as well as take care of some missions and do some backpack stuff. Uh, next episode, we'll head towards the next mission over at the lab and probably also get the thug crimes and backpacks over there taken care of. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.